are starting with functions and models. What are these functions and models? We're saying the idea of a function is one of the most important concepts in mathematics. Put simply, we say, a function is a special kind of correspondence between two sets. Let's look at the following. We say, to each letter on a telephone keypad, there corresponds a number. To each model of a cell phone in a store, there is a corresponding price. To each real number, there corresponds the cube of that number. The number corresponds correspondence to what? The cube of that particular number. Uh, Mr. Chetty, what is the cube root of one? It's one, sir. Thank you. Functions and models. A function is a correspondence between a first set called the domain and a second set called the range. Such that each member of the domain corresponds exactly to one member. We say a function is a correspondence between first set called the domain and a second set called a range, such that each member of the domain corresponds to exactly one member of the range. Which values do we usually refer to as the domain edge? And which values do we usually refer to as the range? On the graph, or like x is, x is the domain and y is the range. Sorry? X is the range. No, no, no. X is the domain and Y is the range. Like on a graph. You mean on yes. a graph? Or like mm -hmm. inputs. Like your domain is like your inputs and your range is like your output. That's how it mm -hmm. goes. Domain referring to the X values, the range, the Y values. Out exactly as you put it. X inputs, Y outputs. Thank you. Let's look at this example. The domain being four, the range being the domain being two, and the range being the square of two, which is four. Another domain being three with its range of nine, the square of three. Another domain for having a square whose square is 16, which is the range. Five, which is the domain, its square being the range, which is 25. We say, most functions considered in mathematics are described by an equation. To graph the function y equals to 2x plus 3, we find ordered pairs by performing calculations for selected x values. For example, for x equals to 4, in the equation y equals to 2x plus 3, which is equals to two times four plus three, that gives us 11. For x equals to minus five, y will be equals to two times minus five plus three, which gives us minus seven. For x is zero, y will be equals to two times zero plus three, which gives us three. Is this clear to everybody? Yes, sir. Yes, Any yes sir. Okay, thank you. <clears throat> now, as an exercise, 
y equals to four minus x squared. I need the value for y when x equals to four. And the value of y when x equals to minus five. And the y value when x equals to zero. You can calculate them at once. Don't say your answers. We'll check the answers together. When you are finished, just say you are finished. You don't say your answers so that we can be able to compare amongst ourselves. Mohau, what did you get for x equals to 4? Well, negative 12. Sorry? Negative 12. What was your negative 12? Negative 12. Do you all agree? Yes. 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 Thank you. Then, Erika. Erika, for x equals to minus 5. I got negative 21. Negative 21. Do you? Agree with Erika? Yes. Do you all agree? Yes. yes. Okay. Alison, for x equals to zero? Four. Y equals four. Four. Do we all agree with uh, Alison's answer? Yes. Please, or do you agree? Yes, sir. Yeah, go. Do you sir. agree that? Do you agree that for x equals to zero, y is four? I do. Mohammed, do you agree or disagree? I agree. Thank you. Now, let's continue. Thank you. Now let's continue. Let's look at number two. Number two, f of x is equals to x squared. My request is that uh, I will request you to calculate f of minus three. After that, I'll request you to calculate f of one. After that, f of k. After that, f of the square root of k. Next, f of 1 plus t. Finally, f of x plus h. When you are finished, you just tell us that you are finished. You don't say your answers. F of 1 will be Mahomet. Mahomet will be one. the first. Whoa, 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 wait, whoa, wait Mahomet. Then, the net, I'm, I'm going to move from this window. The second one, after Mahomet will give us the value for f of k, then the third person that I will mention will give us f of the square root of k. The next person in that sequence will give us an answer for f of 1 plus t. The last person that I will mention will give us the last answer. That means I've got how many people to choose? One, two, three, four. Now let me come here. I'm going to look for those four people. A Matoso. Matoso, I mean. A Matoso. Yes. Okay. Sir. Yes. You will be the second after Mohammed. After that will be Erika, will be Yago, will be Maguena, will be Mohau, will be Monica. I think will be all. Mohammed, please go ahead. I hope you follow the sequence. Yeah, so for f of 1 would be Sorry? 1, 
one. Do we all agree that the answer will be one? Yes, sir. Yes. Yes. Anyone yes. who disagrees with anyone who disagrees with us? We all agree, eh? Yes. Yes. Thank you. Now F of No 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 no. Hang on. Who did I give F of minus three to? You missed it, sir. But can I give the answer since I'm on the line? Who's talking? Is it Erica? It's Kashmira, Chetty. Kashmira, Kashi, Kathy. Kashmira. Kashmira. I'm trying That's to look at your correct. name. It just says uh, K Chetty, this. Oh, K Chetty, okay. Yes. Kash, K Chetty, okay. Mm. Kashmira, what will be F of, the, F of minus three? Nine. Nine. Do we all agree with the nine? Yes. 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 Thank you. Then it was Mohammed. Okay, I had uh, actually skipped the first one. Kashmira helped us. Mohammed helped us with F of one. The one who I did call his or her name after Mohammed. Please follow. Right. Quick correction. The one Kashmira took said it was bad, but I'll continue with the next one. So it's going to be K squared. Who's talking? A Matsoso. A Matsoso. Yes, so you are saying the answer is going to be K squared? Yes, sir. Do we all agree with K squared? Yes. 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 Thank you. Uh, a Matsuso. After A Matsuso, who's following? It is me, Erika. Erika, Erika, yes, Erika. And the answer I have is K. K. Yes, K, Erika. Is it K? Do we all agree? Yes. yes. I agree, yeah. Yo. Erika, you are misleading us. Isn't it uh, K squared? What is it, Erika? <laughs> okay, Erika, on a serious note, ne? what's your answer? Is it K? Why not K, sir? Oh. Mm -mm. E Erika, I'm just throwing it back to you again because it looks like I had someone. It looks like I heard that someone wants to say something different from what you just said. So I'm just requesting a confirmation from you. Is it K? Yes, the answer I got was K. Thank you, Erica. Thank do, you. Did we do we all agree with that uh, with uh, with what with the K that Erica got? Yes. 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 Erica, they all agree with K. Then I've got no objection objection to that. After Erika, who is giving us f of one plus t? Magwena. Magwena. As t yes. squared. As t squared plus two t plus one. T squared plus two t plus one. Yes. Please ask them, Magwena, whether they agree with you or not. Yes, I agree. Um, that's correct. Yes, I agree. Yes, I agree. Thank you, Magwena. Who's after Magwena? Uh, that's me, me, Yaku. Yaku, yes. F of X that... plus H. Um, the way after it is X squared plus 2XH plus H squared. X squared plus two, X H plus H squared. Correct. Please ask them whether they agree with you or not, Ayabu. Guys, do you agree? Yes. I'm not agree. Yeah. You all agree with Ayabu? Yes, we agree. Yes. 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 
Thank you. Do you see how, how simple this module is? <laughs> We're not sure. Just this part, sir. <laughs> <laughs> It's straightforward like this, believe me. This is how we are going to enjoy this module. Now, let's go and look at the third one. F of X is equals to 3X squared minus 2X plus 8. Then, we'll look for F of 0, F of minus 5, and F of 7a. I'm not going to be, I'm just going to be calling people's names randomly. Let me give you a minute if you didn't work it out to work it out. Chanda Piwa, f of zero. Sorry, I had myself muted. f of zero, the answer is eight. Thank you. The answer is 93. 93. Do we all agree with uh, Spiso's answer? Yes. Yes. Uh, now, Eric, F of 7A. Okay, I have it as A squared plus A squared. Plus twenty eight A twenty eight A plus one five five plus one five five. Erica, we have got A squared plus twenty eight A plus one hundred and fifty five. Yes, sir, that's what I got. Okay. Uh, who's it? Hey, Alison, do you agree with Erica's answer of A squared plus 28A plus 155? No. I got no. something very different. Sorry? <laughs> I, I got something. something yeah, so I don't know if I made a mess or <laughs> we can see. Yes, what have you got? I got 147A squared. 147a squared minus 14a minus 14a plus 8 plus 8 yeah okay now maybe someone will help us milton 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 okay Mohammed. Uh, I have 147a squared minus 14a plus 147a squared minus 14a minus 14a plus 8 plus 8. Uh, where should I go? Hey, Junior. Hey, Junior. Erica? Yes. What have you got for this one, for this f of 7a? I got the a squared. a squared. Plus 28a. Plus 28a. Plus 155. You asked me before. Oh, did I ask you before? I'm yes. sorry. K J D. K J D. What did you get? I got a hundred and forty-seven A squared minus fourteen A plus eight. Hundred and forty-seven A squared, yes. Minus fourteen A minus plus eight. Yes, plus, plus eight. eight. <laughs> Mohal? I got 147 A squared minus 14 A plus eight. Okay, thank you. 
Erika. I messed up. I saw my mistake. Are you sure? Yes, sir. I apologize. Uh, are you sure that uh, they are the ones who made a mistake, but not you? No, so, no, I saw I made a mistake. Oh, you yourself made a mistake? Yes, I made a mistake. Oh, okay. Sorry. And then you are able to, You will you be able to rectify it? Yes, sir, I will be. Okay, thank you. Thank you. So that means that for the last one, we've got 147 a squared minus 14a plus 8. Can we, do we all agree and can we, do we all agree that we can proceed from here? Yes. 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 Yeah, oh. Thank you. Use a table of signs to draw number A, Y is equals to X y is equals to 2x y is equals to 3x okay let's pause for a while remember is it from i think it's from grade uh, what do we call this now great i think it's from standard six or grade eight where we started dealing with lines eh? Yes, sir. Thank you. Okay. What I'm requesting everybody to do is to draw. Well, our focus is only on number A. Y is equals to X. Y equals to 2X. Y equals to 3X by using a table of signs. The reason, okay, then all these. I'm requesting you to draw them on the very same system of axes. The reason being that we want to see their relationship to each other, how they are related to each other on the very same system of axes. That is the whole reason. When you say you are finished drawing them, I'm going to ask, how they are related to each other on having been drawn on the very same system of axes. Please tell us, you see, on the very same system of axes, eh? Yes. I'm requesting you to explain to us how, why, equals to x and y equals to x and y equals to three of x, the way they are related to each other. Related in meaning uh, like how, how they, they are behaving. The yes, 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 yes. Okay. Thank I will you. try my best to explain the diagrams. <laughs> so for... Mm -hmm. For y equal to x, all of them are gonna, I said, all of them are gonna go through the through the origin. So your your y equals x will pass through the origin roughly at about 45 degrees. And then your slope is of the, um, the line is increasing as you go from x to 2x to 3x. So your y equals 2x will be above y equals x and then y equals 3x which is the steepest of the three should be above y equals 2x and all going through the origin. I'm lost. My preference or the way in which maybe I'll be able to, under, to understand will be maybe if you can explain to us. Ne? Okay. We have got, uh, in a system of axes, we have got uh, four quadrants, yeah? Yes. 
Yes. My request is for you to explain to us in terms of uh, the way these uh, graphs are related in terms of their movement movements on the quadrants. Okay. Can you get me on that one? Do you get me? Uh, I, I think I get you. Let me have another go, sir. Okay. Okay, so so the obviously the slopes over here are positive, so the the straight lines will run through quadrants one and three, and passing through passing through the origin. Yes, is that in I the right direction, sir? So it's that's a positive slope. Uh-huh. Uh, okay, that uh, explanation then, I will agree with it for the first graph. Now, can I say I agree with you in terms of your explanation, and then we take that explanation to be for the first graph. And then okay. can I then, with you having explain to us the first graph can i request you to then explain to us how this first, how this second graph now it is going to be related to or in comparison to the first one so um, it will be a steeper line, sir. So if you look at it in the first quadrant, mm -hmm. it will lie above the y equals to x. Um, and then if we look at the third quadrant, because it's also still going to be running from the first quadrant to the third quadrant, mm -hmm. it will mm -hmm. go under y equals x. I don't know if I'm explaining that right. Okay, hang on, Kashmira. So <laughs> When it crosses it at the, it's also also cross at the origin. I agree with you. Now, y equals to two x in the first quadrant. Will it be above or below y equals to x? It will be above in the first quadrant. We'll see the line above. Y it will be x. above. Will be up in the first quadrant. It will be above y equals to x. Yes. And then in the second quadrant. It will be below y equals to x. Please ask them. We'll pause here, then please talk to them. Ask them whether they agree or not before we go to the Guys, next. will anybody else like to share their thoughts on the graph? Yeah, we agree. I don't think it's going to touch the second Someone's quadrant. Someone said we agree. It doesn't touch the second quadrant, right? I think it touches the first and the third. Someone said we, we agree. Someone said we. I don't know whether that person has been nominated to be the spokesperson. And maybe, sir. Maybe, because no one else is speaking, sir. <laughs> Did you not say that um, for y equals 2x, the graph is being stretched in the y direction? So. It's um, it's a transposition. So when Who's x e it's Allison. So when x equals one, y would equal two. Yes, Alice. Alison, my yes. question is: I heard Kashmira's explanation. Now my question is: Do you agree, or do you disagree? I did understand Kashmira's explanation. Yes of how y equals to 2x will look like compared to y equals to x. Yes, that's correct. But uh, I think, uh, Kashmir, you made a mistake and you meant to say uh, quadrant 3 instead of quadrant 2. Hmm. Alison, what are you saying? I still say it's 1 and 3, but... Yeah, that's what you said. Yeah, yeah. No, no. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, you said two instead of three, though. Oh, did that's I say two? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's where somebody said, no, I don't agree. Oh, okay. <laughs> but I agree with one and three, with your explanation of one and three. 
one and three, we yeah. agree. Yes. Even the way uh, Tashmira explained it. Yes. Thank you. Now, Tashmira. Yes, sir. Now, how will y equals to 3x now? Your explanation of y equals to 3x in relation to the first and the second. So we're still going to be in quadrants one and three. That's where the line will run through and I run agree. through the origin again. So if we look at the first quadrant, sir, the y equals to 3x is now going to be above y equals to 2x. And the 2x is above y equals to x. And in the third quadrant, it's going to be below y equals to 2x. So it's going to be lower than y equals x and 2x. So below y I, equals to 2x in the third quadrant. I heard you. Please ask them whether they agree with you or not. Floor is open, guys. <laughs> yes, I agree. <laughs> so I agree. I agree as well, Erika. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Kashmira. Can Thanks, we now sir. proceed? I'm happy to Can proceed. We proceed? Sorry? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, thank you. Now, finding the slope of a straight line, y is equals to mx plus c. Slope and y intercept of y equals to 2x minus 4y minus seven. Finding the slope of a straight line y equals to mx plus c. Slope and y intercept of y equals to two x minus four y minus seven. Slope of a line containing the points x1 and y1 and x2 and y2 is m is equals to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Do you still remember this formula? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. 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 Or is it the first time that you see this formula? No. We use this formula in high school. Né? I think from grade, uh, is it grade nine? Yes, that's it's grade nine. We, that's where we started using this formula. Now, let me request you to find the slope of a line containing the points minus two and six, minus four. And nine. Siso is done, sir. Siso. Sir. Okay. Now, you did. I hope you heard the names that I called out, ne? Yes, sir. Now, pick any one of those names on the list that I didn't call. Don't call any one of these names that I've mentioned. Mohammed, teach machine Mohammed. No, no, no. Yeah, you can talk. Ask Mohammed. Yeah. Yeah, Mohammed. He can give us our answer. Mohammed. Mm. Yes. Yes. What is the answer, my brother? Uh, minus three over two. Minus three over two. Are you sure, Mohammed? Yes. Do we all agree with the Mohammed's answer? Yes. 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 Okay. Thank you, Mohammed. Thank you very much. Now, let's move on. Now, 
find the slope and y intercept. We are finding the slope and y intercept for number one, number two, number three, and number four. I'll give you four minutes. And then from Tanda there. Is done. Who is finished? Chanda. Chanda is done. Okay, Chanda. Let, let's give them a few minutes and then those that we haven't spoken to are the ones who are going to give us the answers. The first person will give us, the first person should give us a answers to number one and number two. Then you will move on, Mohammed, to choose another person who is not on, on this list to give us answers to number three and number four. The ball is in your court now, Mohammed. Okay, so for the first two, uh, I would select A, Matsoso. So one and three, the intercepts are zero and six, and uh, for number two, the intercepts are zero and three. Mohammed, do you agree? For number one, the y-intercept is zero and six, and for number two, the intercept is zero and three. No, I don't agree with that. What makes you yeah. say that? So I, I agree. The y intercepts are right. Mohammed, please talk to them. I'm just waiting. The, the y the y intercept is correct, yes. But uh, for the first one, the x intercept is uh it's minus two. Well, the question says find the slope and the y intercept. So the slope oh. is positive three and the y intercept is zero and six. And then for number two, the slope is negative two. The gradient is negative two, oh, and our yeah, y intercept is zero and three. Yeah, yeah, I do. I agree. Now, Mohammed, now you choose the next person, except A. Mazuzu, who will give us answers for number three and number four. Rule. For number three, we have our slope being negative one and our intercept being zero and negative two. And then for the fourth one, we have our slope being four and our intercept as being zero and minus one. Yeah, agree. I, I disagree. I, I disagree on the slope for number three. I disagree, three. sir. Number three. N number three is wrong. Yes. Choose your sign for number three. Yeah, yeah. Wait, it's, it's positive one. And uh, yeah, and yeah. positive two. And also positive two. Like your intercept. Um, is it that for number three you guys are saying? Yes. Yeah. Okay, did you try isolating your y variable and then you divide it by the coefficient of minus three for you to have one as an isolated base, then you'd see when you divide, it would change. Because if, if you take three x to the other side, it becomes negative. If you take six to the other side, it becomes negative. Therefore, you will have negative three y equals to negative three x minus six. And therefore, you divide by negative three. And when you do so, oh yes. I agree. My bad. <laughs> You're correct. How interesting is this? <laughs> okay. <laughs> number three, what do we have? For number three, what do we have? Let's agree number on that one. For number three is zero and negative two, but our slope is positive. Do we all agree? No. With, uh, no, 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 no. Both no. Positive. Because negative, negative six is going to be positive two. Correct, correct. So it's zero and two. Yeah. Yes. Is that's number for number three? Is there an agreement on, on those values? Yes, I agree. Zero and positive two. Okay. Yes, yeah. agree. All right. Agree. Uh, uh, number four. 
Number four will be zero and negative one. Mama, yes, do you yes, agree? Yes, yeah, I agree. Find the equation of a line where the gradient is minus five. And this line has got is having this point minus two and minus three. This is what you already covered in high school. And somehow I can but hear me. Don't misinterpret me or yem. How should I put it? I'm not somehow agreeing with uh, what uh, Mr. A. Mazoso is saying, but somehow I don't, somehow I agree with him, somehow I disagree with him. The reason being that uh, we need to meet each other halfway. I hear what I heard what you said. And again, taking into account that most of the things that we'll be dealing with in here are the things that we've already covered in high school. So it's just a matter of being open and honest to say, okay, this is my answer. Whether that answer is what we are looking for or not, then we'll be able to talk about it and be able to guide out, guide each other without wasting time. Now, can I request you to do these three questions at once. Number one, the slope is minus five, the point is minus two and minus three. In the second one, the slope is seven. That line contains the point one and seven. In the last, the last line has the slope of two and it has got a point, the coordinates where x is three and y is zero. Who is finished? Matsuzu. Okay, now let me pick randomly here. Suizo, what did you get for number one? Yes, uh, for number one, my equation will be y is equal to minus 5x minus 30. Please ask them whether they agree with you or disagree with you. Guys, agree. Yes, agree. Agreed. 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 You all agree? Yes. Yes. Thank yes, you. Yes, yes. Uh, Chanda. Number two. What did you get? The answer is y is equals to seven. For number two. No, no, y no, no, no. Why is it, why is why is equals to seven x? My bad. <laughs> why is it equals to? Yeah. Why is y it equals to seven? Yes. Do you agree with uh, Mahau? I agree. One number two. Agree. Yes. Agreed. Yes. Oh, who was talking? Was it Chanda? Was or was it Mahau? Chanda Kiwa. Was Chanda speaking? Oh, was Chanda. Okay. Now, Mahau. Yes. Mahau? Yes. What did you get for number three? I got y equals to negative, uh, positive 2x minus 6. Please ask them whether they agree with you or disagree with you. They just agree. They agree. Or oh, I agree, sorry. <laughs> okay. I agree too. <laughs> yes, I agree. agree. Do you agree? <laughs> yes. Okay, thank you. That is the case, then let's proceed. Now, find the slope of the line containing the given pair of points. Now, um, should, okay, I'm trying to think of how quickly can I do this one. Uh, okay. Erika? Erika? 
Yes, I'm back. Thank you. Number one is yours, ne? Okay. It doesn't mean that the others don't have to do it because they will have to do it so that we can be able to compare your answer with theirs, okay? I'm just saying I'll request you to give us an answer to number one. That doesn't mean that uh, they shouldn't work it out. Number one will be Erika. Uh, Alison. Yes. Number two. Okay. Uh, Mahau. Yes. Mahau? Yes. Number three, yeah? Okay. Uh, Mohammed. Yes. Mohammed. Yes. Number four, yeah? Okay. Uh, hey, Mazuso. Uh, number five, eh? Thank you. And the rest of us are also working on them so that we can be able to compare the answers that will be found by Erika, Alison, Mohau, Mohammed, and Amatus. I'm done, sir. Let me start with Erika. Erika, are you finished? Yes, sir. What did you get for number one? Negative four over seven. Do we agree with uh, Erika? Yes. 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 Okay. Now, I'm moving on to Alison. Alison, what yes. did you get for number two? I got one over four. Do you agree or disagree agree. with Alison? Agree. Agree. Thank you. I'm now moving on to Mohau. Mohau, what did you get? Three. Sorry? One over three. One over three. Agree. You all agree? Yes. Thank you. Mohammed. Uh, I got zero. Mohammed got zero. Do you agree with it? No, I disagree. No. I disagree. I disagree. disagree. Mohammed. How did you get the zero? Uh, it's y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Then you got it to be zero. So minus nine, mm, minus uh, negative seven, uh, over three minus three. Wouldn't it be undefined? Oh, yes, yes, yeah, sorry, sorry. It's, it's air. Yeah, that's correct. Yeah, it's undefined. Mohammed, the answer is? It's undefined. Do you agree with the new version of Mohammed now? Yes, sir. Yes. Thank you. A hey, Mazoso. Number five. What did you get? What I got is that my slope or my gradient is negative 34 over 3, and my equation is y equals to minus 34 over 3x plus 91 over 15. Not that fast, please, so that they, we can all follow. I got okay. you, but I don't know whether others got you or not. My gradient or my slope is negative 34 over 3. That's my slope. And then the equation of my line is y equals to negative 34 over 3x plus 91 over 15. 
Do you agree with the answer for Emma Zoso? I agree with the gradient. I don't know if we had to work out the equation. <laughs> oh, because in this case, we had to find the slope. Yes. Mm. With mm. The sl I agree with the slope. Yeah, I agree okay. with the slope. Okay. All right. All right. We all agree. We all agree. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Now, let's continue. We say a quadratic function is given by ax squared plus bx plus c, which is equals to zero, where a is not equals to zero. Number a. Say a quadratic function is always a cup shaped curve. That is a quadratic. Quadratic function opens upward if a is greater than zero or opens downward if a is less than zero. It has a turning point or vertex whose first coordinate is minus b over 2a. That is the vertex. That is how we get the vertex or the turning point of a quadratic function. Then the vertical line minus b over 2a is the line of symmetry. This is this line of symmetry is the line that divides a quadratic function into two equal halves. Any question on the slide? No. Can I proceed? Yes, you may proceed. Yes. You can proceed, sir. proceed, sir. Thank you. For example, f of x is equals to x squared minus 2x minus 3. In this quadratic formula, a is 1, b is minus 2, and c is minus 3. x equals to minus b over 2a is given by minus 2 over 2 times 1. So x is given as 1. Substituting the found one for x, we find the second coordinate of the vertex, f of one, where in the original equation. So when we do that, we get the second coordinate of the vertex to be minus four. So the vertex has got the coordinates one and minus four. Is it clear to everybody? Yes, sir. Thank you. Please. Now, please find the vertex for number one and number two. Number one, x squared is equals to 10x minus 3x. Number two, 2x plus 24 equals to x squared. Only those two. Find the vertex for those. Will come after. When we are done with number one and two, is then that we can deal with the next question below. But when you say find the vertex, do you mean we should solve for x? Because that's what I did. This is what I mean. Okay. I'm done then. Uh, who was talking? Mahau. Mahau. Mahau is finished. Mahau for both number one and number two, ne? Are we supposed to solve for x? Or because this equation is given. You find the you find the, the turning point, idea. How? Because. After after getting that x, you're gonna put it in the original formula. You, you're gonna get y. 
Mahau, let me take you a slide back. Mm -hmm. Do you see this example? Mm -hmm. F of x equals to x squared minus 2x minus 3. Mm -hmm. Are we together? Yes. Do we agree that a, a is 1? Yes, yes, yes. In this equation, b is minus 2. Mm -hmm. And c is minus 3. Mm -hmm. Then we are saying x is equal to minus b over 2a. Do we agree? Yes, I agree with that stuff. From that given, in this example, our b is minus 2. Do we agree? Mm -hmm. And our a is 1. Do we agree? Mm -hmm. Therefore, our that's my b, b is that minus two. Okay. The equation on the other slide is it uh, a function? That's what I'm asking because it's given like it doesn't have f of x on the other slide. Like oh. Yes. Mahau. Is it Mahau? Yes. Mahau. I didn't expect you. I didn't think you will get caught here. The most important thing, the first thing that you need to do is to write this formula. In terms in of, form of okay. ax squared plus bx plus c. It's gonna, okay, and then just substitute those equations, like those values. No. Okay, hang on now. The first thing that you need to do is to write this a quadratic formula. You write it in the form of ax squared plus bx plus c. Ne? Then from there, okay. from there, you get x is equal to minus b over 2a. Okay? Mm -hmm. You get think, the value for x. I think I get it now. Sorry. Then from there, after getting that value of x, you substitute in the original equation to get the corresponding y value. So? Hello? Yeah. Uh, would it be possible to, to find the derivative and then from there plug it into the original formula and then get your turning point? The derivative. Yeah. I hear you. But, uh, is it Mohammed? Uh, yes. Uh, Mohammed, can we not confuse the others, ne? And just do it the simple way. We'll still get to what you are saying. Okay. Sfiso, number one. What is the yes. budget? Uh, on on my side, say I got um minus three over two. This this my x tail, and then for y, I got minus forty nine over four. This my turning point. Minus forty nine over four. I got minus three over two as as an x value. And then for y value is minus forty nine over four. Okay, thank you. Do we agree on number one, Ms. Fizo? Yes, sir. I yes. Agree okay. I agree. There seems to be an agreement with your answers, Fiso. Thank you. Now, mm, Kashmira. Kashmira? Yes, I'm here. Uh, Number two. The vertex of X value of 1 and y of minus 25. Do we agree with Kashmira's answer? Yes. Yes. Erika, do you agree? I agree, yes. Mahau, do you agree? Yes, sir. Chanda, do you agree with 1 and minus 25? Yebo. Alison, do you agree? Yes. Thank you. Now, in the question below, it says find the zeros of f of x, which is equal to 3x squared minus 4x minus 2. This shouldn't even take shouldn't even take you a minute to do this. Okay. Magwena, what did you get? Our vertex for number A is the coordinates are negative 
Hang on, Magwena. We passed number one and number two. We are now finding the zeros for f oh. of x, which is... Yes. Yeah. yeah. Oh, whoa, 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 wait, Magwena, Magwena, wait, Magwena, wait. What did you get as your vertex for number one? Negative three over two and 61 over four. Number two, at one and 24. The vertex is, the, the, the coordinates the coordinate. are, the coordinates are one and 24. One no, is no, 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 no. Negative 24. Magwena. Yeah. On number two, ne? Eh? On number two. Yes. They found the coordinates to be one and negative twenty-five. And negative twenty? Negative twenty-five. One and negative twenty-five on number two. Uh. Mm -hmm. And on number one, they found the coordinates for the vertex to be minus three over two and minus 49 over 4. Take it. I might have done something wrong. I'll check. Yeah, but I don't know where you went wrong. Those are the values that they found. Okay. Now, we were done with those first two. Now we are finding the zeros for 3x squared minus 4x minus 2. Viso, are you finished? Did you get the zeros? Yes. Yes, please share them with us. What did you get? Oh, uh, I got 2 plus root 10 over 3. That's my first term. Two. That's my first x. 2 plus root 10 two. over 3. 2 plus root 10 over 3, yes. Another and one? Then the second x is 2 minus root 10 over 3. 2 minus root 10 over 3. Please talk to them. Ask them whether they agree with you or, or not. Guys, do you agree or? I uh, agree. Okay. Do they agree or disagree, Spiso? They, they, they are with me, so they agree. <laughs> okay. If they are with you, then I'm happy. Then that means I will also be with you. If they are with you, there is no way that I can be against you. Yes, see. <laughs> yes. yes. Then, yes someone is talking? Yes, is talking, sir. Sorry? Yes, is talking. Yes, Fizzo. I can't hear you. It's not no, I'm said. done to kicks. Zviso, thank you. Thank you for the uh, thank you for your answer. They are with you, and I'm also in agreement with what you said. Okay, sir. Hmm. If we all agree with what Zviso is given us as the zeros or the x values for f of x, which is equal to 3x squared minus 4x minus 2. Then, can we then move on? Can we continue? So I just wanted to share, to say that how Sfiso go to that answer is that he was using a quadratic formula. As Fiso? Yes, uh, he's right. I've used a quadratic formula. Have you been answered, um, Mr. Matsuso? Yes, I was sharing or adding towards what Spiso was saying to say for some of our colleagues who might be wondering where is that 2 plus root 10 over 3 coming from, he used the quadratic formula to get those answers. Yes. It's clear. Uh, that uh, the quadratic formula was used. 
Do we all still remember how the quadratic formula looks like? Can anyone who still remembers the quadratic formula for getting the x values share that formula with us? X is equal to minus b, b plus minus, minus the square root, root of b squared minus 4ac and everything is over 2a. X is equal to minus b plus minus the root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Do we agree? Yeah, yes. 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 Thank you. On that note, let's then call it a night. Then in this uh, dark night, Sir, oh. yes. Uh, how will we get these recordings uh, so that those people who didn't join can have access to this re uh, recording? Ah, uh, those who are not here, they are just missing out. They are not getting anything from us. So, meaning you won't create any group chat like Buma WhatsApp? So. No, 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 no. Okay. Not getting anything from us. I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, my colleague, I, you got my colleague here. Yes. Good, good evening again. Um, the recording will be posted on all UNISA platform for students per but they will be edited first. As soon as they are paid, uh, edited, check them on UNISA Houting region. YouTube channel. I will write on the chat. Thank you. Okay. All the recording, even in last week's session, some of them, I think one or two, have already been posted on the Houghton Region uh, YouTube channel. Thank but you let's meet again tomorrow. Yes, can you please give us that link, ma'am? Sorry? Can you please give us that link, ma'am? So UNISA, UNISA, Houghton Region YouTube channel. Yes. Oh, I will write on the chat. Even tomorrow, I will write everything on the chat. And then if you are in the dark, maybe you want one-on-one -on -one session, kindly let us know. We group you, but one-on-one -on -one session is only for an hour. But first, we need to check uh, lens availability before we can confirm if the one on one is going to be possible. But I will write my email address on the chat. Uh, most you receive an email from me. If you, receive, you need anything, you can email me. Thank you. Thank you. Is, it, uh, is everybody happy now? Yes. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, thank you. Okay. I have I have Can a question. Is is are the one on one sessions um restricted to like such things, introductory stuff and al and introductory algebra, or is it extended to other forms of maths? Please come back with your question. Saying is are the one on ones restricted to just this type of maths or? you know, like the introductory stuff, the quadratic formulas and the substituting, or is it extended to other forms of maths, like say your calculus and linear algebra? Now we, let's say, let's speak uh, particularly on this module. If there is anything that you didn't understand, that is what we are referring to. Okay. Mm. As we move along, if I have wrote my email address on the chat. Ne? If you need a one on one session, you email me. We check the availability of Glenn. And if it's available, we organize a session. Then we take it from there. Thank you, colleague. 